Hi friends. So let's see about how we can leverage the cloud GPU in a Floyd Hub environment. We will start with a very simple Hello World program and we will try to run in a Floyd Hub online GPU environment. So for that we just need to first sign up or log in. I have already logged in. So I have already signed up so I will just uh, log in into my account. Okay. So Floyd Hub will provide you to create number of projects and uh, you can put the number of uh, data set. There is a by default one MNIST data sets are available on a uh, Floyd Hub environment and uh, one project I have already created so we will uh, work on uh, this project. Okay. And they have provided a very good uh, documentation also so we'll go to the documentation and we will work on this documentation there is a good uh, quick start uh, setup guide also available so there is a two way you can run the code you can uh, manually run this code on your uh, uh, ro local machine as a dot python file dot py file and uh, you can run it into Jupyter Notebook. Ultimately, all this code will run on a Floyd Hub online cloud GPU environment only. So first, uh, they are they saying that you need to have a Floyd Hub account. Then you need to uh, install this Floyd Hub CLI. Floyd Hub CLI is nothing but uh, from the command line. Suppose you want to uh, interact with the Floyd Hub online cloud GPU uh, from your uh, local machine you just uh, install this Floyd hub Floyd and Floyd hyphen Floyd hyphen CP CLI okay so we will just install Floyd hyphen CP CLI okay so it is uh, successfully installed on my machine now next ta task is to log in into Floyd Hub through Floyd CLI. So we are we just need to log in into Floyd CLI. So just type this Floyd CLI login. So we can interact directly from the command line here. Okay, so it will just uh, ask for. Okay. We just need to go to our uh, online account and they will just they will provide one token. So tokens are available here. So you just go to the setting and inside the setting there is a one developer setting and inside the developer one whole uh, token are available. Just copy it and provide it here while login into Floyd CLI. Okay, so login is almost successful. So we can uh, start writing all those code and uh, we can leverage all those Floyd CLI command directly from our uh, command line. Okay, so the we have created one account. We have successfully logged into Floyd Hub uh, system and we have provided uh, through the token system. Now the next task is they have already provided one quick starter guide uh, code. That code is nothing but the image uh, uh, recognition or a digit recognition code on a MNIST data set and they have completely implemented all those code inside the Keras library and uh, TensorFlow as a backend I guess uh, so I'll, I'll just uh, git clone that whole code on my local machine okay so uh, successfully git cloned it okay so they have provided the total two file one is the MNIS I'll just make it clear and uh, you will get to see it very clearly mnitcnn.py so let's just open and see okay so you can see they have used this tensorflow and uh, they are reading this MNIS data set Afterwards, they have implemented this uh, convolution neural network that convolution layer plus pooling layer and full convolute 
they have implemented for the digit recognition so we are not going to get into much more detail into how that code has been set and i will uh, provide another tutorial to understand uh, this code because uh, as far as this tutorial is concerned our focus is to get run this hello world very simple program into floyd hand environment cloud gpu so uh, let's see how how we can run into floyd hub environment so we have already code we have successfully logged in into our uh, machine floyd hub cli now we just need to initialize this as a project so floyd init quick start willingness okay so we have successfully initialized this project as a quick start so now floyd environment will consider this our code as a one of the floyd project now next task is to run this code into cloud environment so we can see that there is a, a command they have given like a floyd run and then we need to provide that where we want to run this code either on a cpu or gpu now after that which environment we will need to run as a tensorflow backend or a tiano backend or a any other backend software and then we need to provide just a script that which particular script we want to run so i'll just copy paste this whole uh, command and i'll just run it okay so we have successfully supplied this uh, code uh, and uh, they have just started the cloud running code has started running into uh, cloud so we can see this uh, logs from here so they have provided one code so you can see we can start reading this logs here or from the okay task instance this error the resource you are looking was not found okay but still you can see this uh, six from here okay see whatever the code we have uh, supplied to get it run into cloud environment it is still running into our cloud environment so with this command floyd run the same command which we have run floyd run environment tensorflow and the gpu leverages we are going to use it and the script we, which we want to run is nothing but the python amnicnn.py okay so it has started running still its uh, uh, code is still running uh, just refresh it so you'll get to know about that whether it's still running or not so without putting any of your credit card or any single uh, dollar at least you can start uh, running your code in a floyd hub online gpu uh, environment very much fast once it runs uh, it will tell us whether it's a successful or any failure message or it will uh, show us i guess it should uh, it should complete by the time okay still it's uh, uh, running actually so uh, that's way uh, you can uh, leverage this online gpu cloud provider power because uh, the setting up this gpu environment in your local machine is uh, very much costly and very much uh, difficult also but uh, if you want to get it start very fast and want to do prototyping very fast you can use this floyd hub environment uh, very fast so that's all about uh, uh, this friend uh, this lecture friends um, i hope you enjoy listening this video and uh, uh, if you want me to create another uh, or more videos uh, regarding to this online gpu cloud provider for uh, other providers like uh, google or even amazon uh, microsoft azure please write into comment uh, i will try my best to create those uh, video okay at last thank you guys for the watching see you into next lecture